first involvement was 1945, after the war, the occupation. I was uh, helping a Japanese family. We became friends, this uh, uh, schoolboy and myself. And when his brother, who was a master sergeant in the Japanese army, was, was discharged, uh, he came to the, uh, he met me at the house, and he started thanking me, you know, for helping the family. And then as we became friends, I asked him about judo, judo, jujitsu. I didn't know the difference. All I remember is Peter Lorre is uh, Mr. Moto in the movie, see. And next thing I knew, I saw the ceiling. I was down on my back, and the whole family was looking at me, little faces all around me. And he says, that? I says, yeah, that's judo. So that was my first exposure. <laughs> and then a little bit later, I was in a military government in 1946 in Chiba Prefecture. And I helped start a judo club, but unfortunately, I barely got into it when I was discharged. Uh, my time came up, and I was shipped home. Uh, and then I didn't get into judo until I returned to Japan in 1950. It was, I think, late 51 or early 52. I uh, went to the Kodokan. Actually, I was looking for something Japanese to do. I was a young guy, and having a good time in Japan, I said, I want to do something Japanese. And uh, I was talking to my tailor. We always had our clothes made by a tailor. You don't go to the store, you're in the house drinking tea, and he measures you and all that. And he said, um, I told him I wanted to do something Japanese. He says, you should do judo. And I was, uh, I mean, I had learned, I had done wrestling and boxing, so I was already a scrapper, and I was a street fighter when I was a kid in South Philly. So I was always exposed to some kind of fighting when I was... But, um, and so I went down to the Kodokan, and I saw, it was late, and it was just this old teacher throwing this young student around. And I said, oh, heck, I can do that, you know, I thought. <laughs> and so I signed up, and that was, I got a, that's how I got started in judo. And then I started, found myself working out five and six days a week. It was like, uh, like eating uh, peanuts, you eat one you can't stop. And uh, there were great teachers, I mean, it was... It was awesome at the Kodokan. I could practice with all Japan champions or these old teachers that were remarkable. And some of them fortunately knew, uh, had some English, you know, could speak English. But my Japanese was coming along fairly good, you know, and I could express myself. And Judo has its own Japanese language, its terms. And that was sort of uh, how I got started. And then it were some of the great teeth. Then it was Kobayashi who became very, we wrote the book Sport of Judo, and Kobayashi had a, a, a fair knowledge of English. And we became very close, almost like brothers.